It's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Even more news! Not only have we had the news that Elite Dangerous Horizons will be free from the 27th of October, and I got a video on that, there's been a release here of The Road to Odyssey Part 2, a dev post, okay? The dev diary forging your own path. It states, Greetings, Commanders. The first dev diary gave us a look into light atmospheres and breaking new ground with exploration on foot. Yes, yes, yes. We all know what the first one said. The second dev diary, Forging Your Path, will show how Odyssey's approach to missions, stations, interiors, spacesuits, and give a taste of how Commanders can interact with a vast range of new characters on foot. Well, let's check that out. Okay, now I've had to reduce the sound here for copyright reasons, but we've got the view uh, inside a space station looking at ships taking off. Um, and it's quite a good four minute sort of like teaser with the proper teaser coming out on October the 1st. They go on to say that it's all about, you know, people walking around the planets themselves, going to settlements, like those dusty settlements we might have seen on Serenity that sort of stuff. You can see they really have sort of channeled that sort of era of sci-fi. It's the Wild West out there, you know. Uh, we've seen these bases normally shrouded in darkness. Now, you know, they're lit, they're nicely lit, and you can walk around them. They also mention as well that suits are based typically on a career. You may have a suit for combat, a suit for exploration, a suit for scavenging, a suit to go stealing things. And each of these suits have their own traits, which will lend themselves to the career that you're on, which I think this is great. You can get missions for mission boards within stations and settlements, all that was great. And they want people to be able to travel from port to port without the need of their ship within a certain range of distance, which I think will be quite enlightening and refreshing. I mean, all these sort of surroundings and walking around and bars and communal areas I think really is good. Um, they want you to see what the lay of the land is, what each station and settlement, what the background simulation is doing in regards to uh, how it affects the NPCs. They've gone to great lengths about modelling the NPCs as well with motion capture so they get it just right. It looks like they've had an awful lot of thought about this and on the screen there we can see Pioneer Supplies, some guy wearing a motion capture suit and you know the work in progress animation there as well and they really want to try and sort of bring it alive with nice sounds and a good sound soundtrack. I mean, look, we've got weapons there and everything that you can buy. So all those hard-earned credits um, that we've all spent on fleet carriers, we may be cashing those fleet carriers in to buy these new embellishments for our commanders. They want people to get that, you know, that social aspect to be meeting people as well. Um, so again, as I mentioned, the background simulation is going to be key into how the NPCs within these settlements react. Uh, and they mention that in a little bit of length as well. What intrigues me is the stealing items and then selling them on the black market. You really could be sneaky beaky here as well, right? And you can see people looking at things like Corvettes and stuff like that on animated screens. So it opens up the whole ship purchase aspect of it. They do go to great lengths as well to say that, you know, you can really forge your own path, forge your own way, which is the tagline of, of, of the dev diaries. Um, if you want to stay in your ship and bomb around, that's fine. What with Horizons being free and that announcement just coming out, and it'll be free on October the 27th, allowing people to go down to um, the surface of planets and bomb around in your SRV and go to engineers and all the rest of it, right? There's going to be more missions, available to people who haven't bought the DLC for the game. Perhaps people have been, because it's such a, a large learning curve for the Leap Dangerous, these people have thought, I'm not paying any more money on that, $30, now it's going to be free. It's a precursor to Odyssey. So I think that's great. Um, so they're saying here, you know, they want the people to have the choice of, you know, doing what they want to do. It's an open world game. They're not here to tell us how to play this game. And I think that's great. Absolutely fantastic, you know, um, good on them for that. And how, how dare they, you know, they, pff, whatever. So 
The core game will remain the same. Odyssey is going to be a huge embellishment on that as well, with nicely lighted models and places you can go and have a good look at. Now, as we were going through, I was taking some clips as well. You know, we've got a good screenshot there, of that sort of like viewport in the station. Quite reminiscent, I think, of 10 Forward from Star Trek. Do you know what I mean? And it's great to see those ships coming in. And it'd be good if it translates that, you know, if our ships actually do get damaged, like the Anaconda, you'll get that feeling of they've been through some sort of action. The next shot I've got is the outside settlements. Of course, it's all pre-alpha footage, but you get that sort of serenity outpost sort of feel for things, I think, as well. You know, this is a living, breathing settlement with ships coming and going that we've seen sort of in the background. But now you're going to be able to walk through it and it's going to be in real sort of like a sort of life size scale. Moving on to the suits, and this is a suit we kind of saw in the initial trailer for Odyssey. Now, is this combat? Is this stealth? What is it? Could well be combat. Looks rather, you know, sleek. That is no messing about. Whereas the other suit I took a screenshot off coming up now, looks like it's all about scavenging. It's got belts and pockets and all the rest of it. It looks like, you know, it looks more akin of like searching through uh, wreckage and rubble for particular items. That's my opinion. What do you think? I mean, have I got that wrong? Could it be, you know, for stealth and that could be combat? I don't know. Um, also with this one, it's a good look at the, you know, the mission boards as well. Uh, with like a sort of a gal netty sort of interface we've got there. So again, these are going to become, I think, social areas as well and social hubs. Not only the bars and the weapons rooms where you can communicate with other players and other NPCs. Which very nicely brings us on to the next shot that I had, which was this sort of like pioneer supplies. You've got an eatery by the look of it there or apex. Um, you know, there's places where you can buy weapons. There's a bit where you can buy ships, you know, and I think that's that's really compelling. Not too unreminiscent, I think, of Star Citizen. And like, you know, you've got to make the comparison as well to all this, right? Got a weapon shop there. Remlock, pioneer supplies. Got some shooters at the back screen got to have shooters if you're walking around because hey you know someone some, someone's going to have a go at you is your suit going to afford you some sort of protection do some suits afford more protection than others again it's the selection of weapons and additional supplies that you can use as well so from a little teaser trailer and a lot of this is conjecture i know but you know it's educated conjecture that's what i'm gleaning from it it looks all right, doesn't it? I'm not too hepped up on the fact that there's going to be limited VR, you know, to all of this. Because it'll come. It'll come in time, right? VR is accelerating all the time. It'll, it'll come. And if they don't, well, they're missing a huge opportunity to do something here. Of course, we're back here to the, the viewport in the station. It's a bit of an industrial station or built into an, uh, an asteroid. This, I thought, was really good. I like that screenshot. It shows the Corvette there, people looking at it, opens up a new sort of interface, right, um, in regards to looking at ships. But anyway, there you go. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos in the series.